All right. Hello, everyone. This is Zuhan Sharma of Team Rosalind here, and we are the team for the Hack Bio 2020 Virtual Bioinformatics Internship. And as you can see on the screen, this is our main GitHub organization of Team Rosalind for this challenge. So I created this GitHub organization, and one of the most common questions that you can ask is, why didn't you have a repository with your name and have all the contributors, all the members, fork into it and commit their changes into it? The reason was simple that a GitHub look, uh, organization looks quite nice. It looks uh, professional and it makes collaboration really easy. Uh, it's a centralized platform for collaboration and for adding all the codes and for reviewing stuff. So that's why I went with the GitHub organization and with all its all its bells and whistles, I created this one. Moving forward to our main repository of Cream Rosalind, let's explore that. So here is the main repository of Team Rosalind. And in this, we have all our images, all our documentation, all our scripts that are uh, members of the organization contributed in various languages, various things, uh, all our docs, all our tests, and all our shell scripts. As you can see here, we have a multitude of languages. We have a, 20, a lot of uh, contributors, which is a very nice thing for us. Moving on to a readme. The readme was created by me, and I tried to make it as pretty as possible, as cute as possible in uh, uh, Markdown. Uh, it contains all the information that you require to replicate our code, to run our code smoothly, and to just get a hang, uh, get a hang of the task that the task was for stage zero of the internship. This is a flowchart that was created by my co-intern Suritra. Uh, it basically tells us that we, in the organization, we uh, we take the multitude of scripts written in various languages. We collect the data from them. The data consists of name, emails, uh, various other things. We compile them into one single readme that is done by shell scripting, as my co-intern Paolo did. And that's that's basically it. Here is the shell script that you can see. And I tried to make this as easy as possible to read and to replicate. And that's how a readme should be. I personally believe that a documentation for a project is one of the greatest things, one of the most important things for a project. As a project without good documentation is good as nothing. You need to replicate stuff. You need to know what's happening behind, behind that without pinging the authors. I, I, created, I created a documentation website with Jekyll. Jekyll is a static site markdown generator. Uh, it, it integrates well with GitHub and makes, makes the uh, site through GitHub pages. Uh, the process for making the site is a little beyond the scope of this present uh, presentation, but I would like to touch more on that. Moving on, I'll I'll show you the documentation that I generated from uh, Doxify. Doxify is the documentation from Doxify. Dox so Doxify is the documentation generator that we use, and uh, it's it's basically the same as our README, but it's more on the web web based service platforms. So uh, now coming on to the wiki, the wiki, the wiki, the wiki part of the uh, organization is very necessary to get the to get to know the details of. Uh, behind the door details. So we use REPL. REPL uh, we use REPL to run our bash scripts online because a lot of people are not comfortable with using Linux. And sometimes we might want to change the thing. So we just use special uh, REPL. Uh, you can you, uh, you can run a lot of languages on REPL. We use Doxify to generate our documentation. We use Google Colab to run the Python code online and collaborate. Slack was our official space in which we collaborated, contributed, and brainstormed on, on the things that uh, the whole 27, 29 members all collaborated well and brainstormed it. Loom is the stuff that is used to screen share and record. And I'm looking at it, I'm I'm talking to you through Loom, and it, it really helped us well. Great Recon is the Git GUI those, for those people who are not really uh, comfortable or familiar with command line and want to use Git. So we use Git Kraken as well. The main part of the repository, and the main part of our project is the shell script that collects all the all the data, all the data from our uh, from our individual scripts, uh, from our individual scripts of our organizations, and uh, that's basically it. More more on the shell script will be will be. Uh, talk to you about, uh, will be given to you about by Quint and Pablo, which is coming shortly. And I hope you like this and over to you, Pablo. Hi guys, it's Pablo from Team Resident and I'm super excited to guide you through our TC producing script. Well, the execution of our, our script begins from cloning the GitHub repository to the current folder and navigating to that folder. Then oh, in, in the repositories folder, we are compilating all C and C++ files. Then we are executing uh, all the individ individual scripts regarding the programming language languages we are using. We are taking advantage of parallel for parallel processing of those scripts. And we are executing actually pretty interesting pipeline. So let, uh, let me guide you in. Uh, well, uh, this is how the standard output of the scripts looks like. We are extracting the second values, which are our na names, emails, uh, Slack usernames, and so on. And then we are concatenating them row-wise using commas delimiter. But uh, it's not that easy to produce a clean TSV line files. That's, that's why they are temporary files. Some files are have missing columns, uh, free co 
empty columns and empty first columns, some spaces, we need to trim them all. So we are constructing some pipelines of getting rid of those columns, those empty columns, uh, some spaces, some preceding spaces. So, so at the end, we are getting a clean CSV line file. Uh, in the end, we are uh, concatenating all our CSV files to master CSV file. Uh, removing some temporary files and the final touch is to remove all empty rows from our master csv files so that's how our member info team rosalind csv file is produced that's all from me